Hi everyone, my name is Joe Cadlick, a mergers and acquisitions partner in the Corporate and Securities Group at Troutman Pepper. I'm here today with Pat Below from Phoenix Management Services for a series of unscripted and impromptu interviews to discuss a few topics in the distressed M&A world. Pat, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and Phoenix Management? Yeah, so I'm a director with Phoenix Management Services and we advise, manage, and raise capital for transitioning businesses. So Pat, what we wanted to talk about in, in, this, in this round of conversation is in, in this distressed M&A environment, how do you help the sellers get ready for the process, either in the short term or, or long term, depending on where you're coming into the picture? Yeah, so um, again, we have an interesting lens into the company because we offer multiple service lines at Phoenix. Uh, we could be filling an interim executive role, or we could be the investment banker uh, that's trying to put the sale together and, sh and shepherd it towards the finish line. Um, so we're really helping companies across. Uh, when we say prep, uh, it, it's an interesting term that, that I'll smirk at because it's not like a healthy sale where you have six months to prep to go to market to make sure everything um, is ticked and tied. Um, really the name of the game in distressed M&A is to get to a transaction as quickly as possible. The company's distressed, um, there's usually creditor risk, um, they're running out of cash, and in order to maximize the value of the assets, we need to get to the finish line as quickly as possible. So when I'm working on the consulting side, rule numbers one, two, and three are always don't run out of cash. Um, and oftentimes I'm tapped to be the interim CFO, so I'm approving all payments that are going out and really helping put a strategic plan together to make sure that we can continue delivering the goods and services that, that some buyer is going to value and that the business isn't running out of cash. And that's a really important point, right, in terms of not running out of cash because besides just wanting to pay your bills, yeah. of, of course, uh, not all invoices are created equal, yeah. right? And so we, we on the legal side certainly appreciate and certainly stress to our clients, uh, employee wages and compensation that has to be paid, or there's you know potential for pers personal liability mm -hmm. at the officer level, and that's something everyone has to watch out for. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm sure you advise on strategies in terms of managing what types of payments to be made. Yeah, and that's really the importance of having good advisors, both uh, on the legal side, but also on the operational side. So having somebody like Phoenix, that's the boots on the ground that are helping your employees make these decisions like split second um, dur during it, the, uh, the day. Now, uh, another thing I'm interested in, in hearing about uh, is, is setting realistic expectations on price. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, from, from I'm on both sides of the deal sometimes, but if I think of myself advising a seller client, uh, a buyer may be coming in and putting a lot of capital into this business to get it back up and running. Mm -hmm. I would think a buyer is going to take that into account when they're looking at a price. So. Um, are, are, are your, the companies you're working with just trying to get a deal done? Uh, to what extent is price a major factor that you have to set realistic expectations for? As you and, and your, your brethren on, on the restructuring side know, uh, at that point, uh, the officers of the company really have a duty, a fiduciary duty to maximize the value of the assets. Um, so one of the things that we're looking at uh, on the front end in order to help get a deal done is who is the fulcrum security? So as you think about the capital stack, of a company, right? Uh, it may have secured debt, um, secured notes, sub debt, preferred equity, common equity, and by nature, a distressed company isn't going to be able to garner enough cash to pay down the full capital stack. Okay. So the most senior security who doesn't get paid, we call it the fulcrum security, and that's really who you need to be in constant communication with to uh, show them what's your plan, how much of a discount they may need to take, um, and prove to them that you've really explored all options in the process. Um, so on the investment banking side, I mean, we're literally canvassing the market. We're reaching out to three or 400 folks to maximize the value of the assets. Uh, and it's a common question that we get from business owners is, how much money are we gonna generate? And the answer is always, the market will dictate it. And we just have a duty to make sure we run an efficient process. We're hitting milestones so that we can uh, close the process before we run out of cash and that we've turned over every stone. And turning over one of those stones may be bankruptcy. That may be one of the options. But uh, we always have to remind our clients sometimes that they aren't familiar with it. Bankruptcy is not free. Yeah, no, it's, it's an important point. And one of the things that we're, we're constantly working on in terms of strategy, um, how are we going to consummate this transaction? Is it going to be a bankruptcy, an Article 9 sale, assignment for the benefit of creditors? Um, and each one of those processes comes with different risks, different protections. Um, but also different costs. And so you really need to have good advisors, both on the legal side and on the operational consulting side, 
to advise the company on what, and the buyers and the sellers, right. um, on what each one of those things mean. Really put a, put a box around what the risks are right. um, so that people can move forward in a comfortable manner. Uh, I'm curious what, what you all see. Well, the, beyond all that, we, the, 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 a lot of that is the, the strategic aspects of things that we are helping with too. Um, some of the practical sides of things we really try to help our clients with is um, getting organized, making sure that, you know, if, if the timeline is very tight, like we've been talking about mm -hmm. here, uh, and you're pushing the buyers to get the process done, having an organized due diligence process, having materials in, in an orderly fashion and, and answering questions promptly, that's, that's key to that. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want to have a situation where we're delaying or sl slow playing information because then we're the ones that are going to be tight on the back end. Of course, yeah. And uh, you know, and frankly, there's there's an element depending on the situation. If it's a true sale process, not necessarily through bankruptcy, um, we're trying to help the the sellers, owners, uh, or management team think about what life is like afterwards. You know, is somebody really coming in to save the company, or are they coming in to take it over? And you know take a different different path forward in terms of management or whatnot. Yeah. And uh, those are important considerations as somebody's thinking through this process. Yeah, of course. So, um, so you know, we, we all, we're all trying to help the sellers and, and get them in a good frame of mind. And uh, we'll also be talking about the, the, buyer, the buyer world in our next one. Yeah, absolutely.